Authentication problems in Minecraft often come from either having the wrong date and time on your system or having an incorrect host size. Either way, fixing it is easy. Press Windows key plus I to open up the Windows settings and then search for time. This should show you the date and time settings. Uh, change date and time to be specific. Go ahead and click on that. Now in here, you'll be able to see all of your date and time settings. So make sure that set time zone automatically is enabled. Um, and once that is, you should be able to come down now and see the last successful time synchronization. This is different from your time. Go ahead and click the sync now button. And this should now sync your time with what uh, Microsoft thinks the region that you're living in is. And that should fix the problem. If not, make sure to go ahead and check the region section as well, because this is where Microsoft thinks you're located. And hence, this is important to set your time. So just click on the region setting right here. And then under country or region, make sure that you selected the right place. If that doesn't work, it's a good idea to also look at your hosts file. Now, to do that, press Windows key plus E to open up Windows Explorer. Head over to your C drive, then Windows. Then we're going to System32. Then we're going to look for a folder called Drivers, ETC, and you will see the hosts file located right here. Right click this, head over to Open With, and then just select Notepad from the menu. Once the file opens up, go all the way to the bottom and you should see some Mojang URLs located here with an IP address. If you see anything related to that, go ahead and remove it. Otherwise, your host's file is correct. If that doesn't work for you either, your problem might be arising from using a third-party launcher, especially T-Launcher because it may or may not authenticate with Microsoft servers. To fix that problem, go ahead and launch your game from the Minecraft launcher instead. This way, you will be sure that you're logged in with the right Microsoft account, that your Minecraft license is valid, and that you will be able to play the game without any issues. Make sure to update the launcher as well if it's not on the latest version, and then that should get the problem solved. In this case, once the Minecraft launcher opens up, we'll wait for it to stop loading. And now you can go ahead, select your vanilla installation, which is the latest release, and go ahead and click the play button. And that should get you on Minecraft and into an online server without any problems. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website Candid.Technology and if these videos aren't helping you out as much, do consider getting a membership. See you in the next one.